Please like or dislike the video or leave a comment below. That will allow me to produce better videos and more of them in the future. Once a year, there's a race that takes place in Ireland that's unique. It's the only race in the whole of Europe that's raced under rules on a beach. And that beach is in a place called Laytown. Now I've been trading Laytown for a number of years and I always be I became fascinated by going to see this particular meeting. It looked like a good laugh. Uh, there was plenty of activity there, a big social occasion. And seeing horses racing on a beach, I thought, well, that's pretty cool. I must go. But it took me several years before I managed to get this one off my list. And as with a lot of things, you know, it's been fun to go around. And when you have been trading these places for a number of years, it's fascinating to actually go in there and actually see the place for real. And one by one, I'm ticking all those off my list um, as I move through my trading career. So yeah, one year I decided to take the plunge and rather than sitting on this side of the fence and trading Laytown, I thought it would be fun to go over there and actually attend the meeting itself. And that's what I decided to do one year. Now Laytown is a small town that's just a little bit further north of Dublin. Basically you can fly into Dublin or catch the ferry and uh, the trip to Laytown is actually relatively easy to do. You can catch a train. I caught one from Connolly Station in Dublin. And then that meanders its way up the coast. And that's actually quite a scenic journey. I was quite uh, enjoyed the journey up there. And as you move further and further up the coast, you gradually inherit more and more people as you come towards Laytown. And as the train gets busier, uh, inevitably everybody's talking about the race meeting and so on and so forth. When you arrive at Laytown, it's a short little trip uh, out of the station, underneath the bridge, and towards the beach. And as you head towards the beach, what you realise is that they've actually sectioned off part of what would be the common, uh, pointing over the beach, and turned it into a race course for the day. And it's just like any other particular race course, in that you have all of the lorries that have brought over the horses with their horse boxes, and they're parked up in a stabling area and the horses are being trotted and groomed in the stabling area before being taken to the parade ring which is on the common in front or just behind the beach but in front of the houses. In that particular area that which is fenced off then you also have all of the other things that you'd expect to see at a major race course. Ice cream vans, burger vans and they have a corporate hospitality tent which is where I chose to go. I thought well if I'm going to go I need to do it in style and uh, so I went into the corporate hospitality area. Although essentially it's basically just an upgraded version of what you can get anyway. Most of the participants there were in the main area where you've got ice cream, burger vans, bookmakers, uh, all of the things you'd expect to see at a race course. And then they've got a tent to the side where people can have a proper sit down meal and a few drinks and so on and so forth. Now the interesting thing was it was really busy, loads of people there, a real mixture of people and an incredibly large amount of people have come over from the UK and other areas and like me they would possessed that desire to actually go uh, and witness this firsthand rather than just watching it on television and it's a great big social occasion. It's really interesting to go and see and I recommend that you should go as well if you get the opportunity. And um, when you look at the actual course itself it's on an embankment that's raised away from the beach and then they actually have a turnstile uh, so that you can get access to and from the beach. So if you want to go to Laytown and you don't actually want to pay a penny to actually get in to the bookmakers and all of the other facilities, there's no reason why you can't actually go along the beach. And um, it is possible to access it without having to go uh, with all of the other stuff as well. However, I wanted to do it properly, so necessarily I paid my fee and went in and did all of the uh, all of the, the stuff that you would associate with going to a proper meeting or making the effort to go to a proper meeting. So yeah, as you go down this cliff, uh, it's only a small cliff, uh, you end up on a very sandy beach. And the great thing about Laytown is um, there's a whole mixture of people there. Uh, people that, that are just curious by it, you know, serious punters, casual punters, and uh, people like me that just wanted to go and witness it firsthand. And the beach is very, very long and wide. But the great thing about it is typically what they have to do is uh, it's the, the meeting shifts backwards and forwards uh, in terms of date and times over the years because it's based around the tide. So as the tide goes out first thing in the morning, they actually come in and actually build the railings 
and the finishing post and all the other items there. And they have to complete the meeting in enough time before the tide comes back in. In the distance you can see lots of horses being trotted up or warmed up and um, as we get closer to the actual race itself all of the standard things are there such as the pre-parade ring and then they actually take the horses down to the post. Now the post is miles away or it looks miles away because it's much much further along in the distance on the beach and in fact a lot of the the further outer lying parts of the course aren't actually railed off they just have posts to guide where the jockeys are actually going to go and um, I thought it would be fun to just go for a walk along there so as well as enjoying all of the hospitality side of things and the buzz of the bookie area and the main uh, course and parade ring and so on I thought well let's go for a walk right along the beach and go out as far as I can before looping around and coming back and uh, lots of other people are doing the same as well so it's really interesting when you get to the further reaches because it's really quiet and you can actually get a good view of the horses as they come bombing down the beach towards the finishing post. Now one of the things you notice as well is there are loads of children everywhere as well and obviously uh, dads, mums, families and other people are taking the opportunity to take the kids out to the beach and also watch a bit of horse racing so that was quite nice as well. And there were lots of children scattered all over the course either right in front of the main area building sandcastles or perhaps going for a walk a bit further along. And the interesting thing about the racing on the sand is that um, it's difficult to necessarily describe the going as anything other than sort of, you know, sandy I suppose. <laughs> there must be a definition of how you would describe the going. But nonetheless, I think it's a little bit trickier to figure out how these horses are going to run based upon the fact that they necessarily haven't experienced this surface that much or run out on it that much. However, one of the things that I did notice was that people that were shipping in horses from the UK seemed to be particularly favoured and they were often getting uh, backed in quite heavily. So it seemed to be that if people were making the trip to go to Laytown for what isn't considered to be an enormous amount of prize money, then necessarily this would be something that uh, would be of interest to punters because the trainer is obviously sending the horse there for a reason and typically it seems to be the modus operandi that horses from the UK were getting backed when they were coming to Laytown. But the interesting thing about Laytown is it's you've got easy access to the course which you typically don't get at a lot of other race courses. It's very easy to cross over the centre of the course to the other side so you can get a view from you know one side of the winning post or the other. Uh, the crowds were very interesting and uh, varied. I had a good chat with a number of different people there and in fact there were a couple of people that uh, knew who I was which was quite interesting and amusing in itself but it was a nice little thing to do it was another thing off of the bucket list for me and it only happens once a year in September and I recommend that it's probably one of the things that you may want to do as well Cheltenham is great Ascot is great all of these other courses Windsor on a Monday evening uh, but Laytown's pretty unique in the calendar and I think that if I had some friends over or something it would be a, a fun thing to do and it's not that expensive to fly in and out of Dublin and on the flight that I took from Southampton Airport, which is uh, very near to me and quite cheap, there are a number of guys that were going over just for the day. So yeah, maybe that's something you want to consider on your list. It's an okay meeting to trade, it's nothing special at all, you're not going to see enormous volume and so on and so forth. And that was one of the reasons I went over to see it as well, was because I've traded it for a number of years, it never really particularly stood out, but the appeal of seeing horse racing on a beach did stand out. And that's why I recommend it. An interesting meeting and perhaps something you'll consider at some point in the future, like I did uh, a couple of years ago. If you're interested in learning more about Betangel, why not visit betangel.com today and download a free trial.